Take. Welcome back. I'll be honest with you, I'm getting tired of making videos about my problems with Glock. But at the same time, I'm trying to solve my problems with the Glock. So before I go to the range and show you what I'm going to try, I wanted to just show, and I'm, I'm having trouble getting to the range. We're having a spate of bad weather here. I'm actually trying to find an indoor place to go use a range if that's what it comes down to. But yeah, that's, that's, that's going on too as well. Um, a young man by the name of Tony Young watched a video of me shooting a Glock and he was a he, he is a USPSA grandmaster. He won all of his matches literally with a Glock 26. So uh if you can become a USPSA grandmaster with a Glock 26, I think you might know how to shoot a Glock. He watched my video and made a couple of comments on the video and told me that I was what I was doing wrong and he came on the show and we talked about it and everything else. So to that end In order to uh, to try it, because I'd gotten rid of every Glock I owned. And the reason I have Glocks is because Glocks are ubiquitous. If something bad were to happen and you had to go, go out and go forth, there's going to be two guns that are going to be ubiquitous. ARs, Glocks. There's going to be lots of other guns of different types out there without a doubt. But when you're talking about picking stuff up off the ground, ARs, Glocks. That's my opinion. So, first up, I like Gen 5 Glocks. So, I went out and got a Gen 5 19. But this is the second Gen 5 19 I've had. When COVID happened and uh, everybody out there was uh, going crazy and we all thought it was the end of the world, my eldest son came and took my, he sort of uh, buttered me up and took my Gen 5 Glock 19. I, I think it has a... I had a, it's got a, had a hollow sun, it's got a hollow sun 407, I think on it, and a TLR1 flashlight. It was a nice gun, still is. So I got this Gen 5 Glock, second one. And this one is not stock. Okay, first things first, I, I never use the back straps. The back straps just exacerbate the problem for me. Um, a lot of people I know actually put the back strap here and cut it off there to where they're actually filling this in to where it lessens the grip angle. Um, that, unless it's blended into that, that just doesn't seem like it would work for me. But first thing I changed, excess sights. Fastest acquisition sights of the steel sights that I've ever used. Um, they sponsor my show. These are just for me, they, they changed the game. As far as sticking the gun out there, lining up, put, putting the lollipop on top of the stick, it's just absolutely crazy. The other thing I changed was the trigger. This has got the Timony trigger in it. And the Timony trigger, which is supposed to be a game changer in, in Glock, um, is remarkably soft as far as a pull. Reset is instantaneous and soft at the same time. And uh, this aids in some of the things I'm trying to do. Now, the grip. This has always been my grip. When I draw a gun, I'm hitting here. And now with Glocks, I've got to do like that. And I've got to be hitting it more here. I've got to be putting more pressure here than here. I have tried this with the Mantis laser system, the Laser Academy, and I'm hitting the target. I'm hitting it exactly where I'm aiming. And that's all I'm asking to do. A lot of other people do that all the time. All I'm asking to do is, I, I do that with a lot of other guns. I'm just asking to do that with Glock. So with this gun, with the managed training system, I and this, uh, you know, the various things that are on here now, I have managed to defeat my low left demon, at least in the Laser Academy. Got to go out on the range and try this out. This will be the Tony Young technique that I'm going to be employing. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Now, 
I think the best Glock that has ever been designed, bar none, is the Glock 45, which is not actually a 45. It's a 9mm. Um, it has the 19 length slide and it has the 17 length grip. I think that's the best design they've ever come up with. And uh, I got in contact with Taryn Butler at Taryn Tactical Innovations. Uh, I've interviewed him a few times in, in the course of my time with Staccato. And um, I just told him, I said, hey, I, I know you say this is the best gun, but, I mean, I can't shoot it. And he told me a few things about his opinion of them out of the box. And then he told me, well, if you want to send me one, I'll tweak it. Put your box here. You want me to open up a camera? All right. What do we got here? Block 45, Gen 5, bone stock. I'll get this thing all macked out for you to look like this in the end. So I'll get it done. I'm going to drop test it for you. All right. <laughs> Problem was I didn't own one. I had just gotten rid of all of them. This, I had just made my decision to, uh, I, I had tried a few things to correct my issue and it just wasn't working. And I had dumped them basically and gone out and got back into nothing but CZs, which I still have all my CZs. But I found another Glock 45. And I found one, uh, found a Glock 45 MOS. And I sent it to Terran Tactical, to, to Terran Butler. And it came back today. This is the, Ter the TTI Combat Master in Glock 45. Um, it has a few things that are, you know, unique to it. I, <sighs> what he's done to the gun, besides improving the balance, improving the grip angle, because he, he reduced that a little bit, um, he sent me some, some really nice Terran Tactical base pads. This is a plus five. It weighs less, and it has all the you know all the nice little things you like for your Glock to have. The stipple job, right? The stipple job is superb. The mag, the magwell, which is Terran Tactical, um, subtle, but not overstated. Not you know it's it's not overstated, and it works perfectly. It's just not gigantic. The texturizing that he does on the front with the, uh, you know, the Gen 5 comes with serrations on the front. He takes them and reroutes them. Or, you know, you, you can see where where they were versus where they re-angled. The finish he puts on it is really interesting. It's almost like it's holographic. If you look at the Terran Tactical Innovations and the Combat Master on the side of the gun at certain angles, you can't see it. So that's really interesting, too. This puts me in mind of a well-mastered uh, 2011, right? The presentation, which I'm wearing my glasses, I, I might have to add, use one eye, but the presentation of the gun is much more natural for me. And the point of aim is much more natural for me. I put a TLR-8 on it. This is going to have, for any of you that are going to get an MOS, a Glock MOS, this is worth exactly what you're going to pay for it. If you're going to get a Glock MOS, go ahead and figure out which optic you're going to get and go to CNH Precision and get your plate. Get your adapter plate from them. Uh, I tried the Glock plate. I had been warned that the Glock plate would be garbage, and it was garbage. It was absolute garbage. This can also, enter, so uh, I've got a CNH plate coming in, it's gonna have a, uh, a Hollow Sun 509T. It looks like a, 
it looks a little bit like a mailbox, but I've, it's, a, it's a really good optic, multiple reticle optic. It will still co-witness. This also has the Timney trigger. The difference being is that this feels, re it feels very, very refined compared to this, which feels better than Glock's Gen 4 through 1 to me. So this gun, we're going to have some fun with this gun. I mean, he's got little carbon fiber accent on the back of the gun with his Terran Tactical uh, logo. The Terran Tactical logo is right there as well. This is just really well worked over. So we're going to see. We're going to see. And uh, yeah, just wanted to do a real quick, quick, brief, you know, oratory as to why I'm doing it. And it's going to be interesting to see how I fare with these two types of guns. One that's been engineered and refined to a high degree. And this one, which is not bad. Block Gen 5. Not bad at all. So, stay on the lookout for these going to the range. Uh, hey, thanks for taking the time to take a look at this. I'm out of here.